Hello, what's up buddy? This is Tuki and we are back again for another video. Today guys, we are going to talk about this new update in the game and I think this update is a preparation for the next huge update that is coming in the game. And yeah, before we get to the video, if you're new, click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any upload and let's get to the video. Alright, so the first thing that we are going to talk about is the chat. So as you can see here, uh, if you click the chat, I mean, you can see four tabs which um, organized all of the chats in your chat preview. I mean, you can have your friends chat here in this um, tab here, in this area here, also the world chat and system chat. Also guys, you can add friends by, you know, putting their name in here like um, Tuki or RNG Tuki. And if there's someone who wants to add friend, you can just, you know, you can see their names here. You can just, you know, accept that. Um, also guys, you can have the party chat here and you can invite someone that is not near you and just put their name here and click add and then you can see your party chat here. And the world chat is the chat of every player in the current world and you can see it here and also the system is the chat that shows the what is going on in the server such as the announcement or yeah some sort of that who gets something and then you know who was in the world or how, how many time left and then you can just see that in your system chat. Now if you want to turn off the chat you can just go in your setting and then you can just hide your chat in here. But guys if you want to see in this chat preview is only the world chat you can just click in here and then you know turn off the system um, chat for the chat preview also the party and the friends and in that way you will only see the world chat in your chat preview in here but if you don't want any chat you just turn it off you know but you know this is the fastest way here in the setting okay so the next one is about the interaction of the maps where you can you know click the maps here and yeah they have this outline which um, I think marks your target something like that and I think guys that this is a preparation for ranged weapons because you know I think it will be hard to like randomly shoot arrows or something like that but I don't know guys but maybe just what I think but yeah you can see that color there and guess what if it's too far from you I mean this um, below that scorpion that I mark I'm gonna click that yeah the target is too far I think that is also um, the you know the the range of the you know fireball maybe or some range of the arrows it's just my theory guys but I really don't know what is happening why is this that we have this you know um, mark here and also guys if you um, click or you know, want to hit that I mean let me remove this mark here it will automatically mark your target and uh, let me see yeah look at that also it comes with different color and I think it is quite cool you know but it doesn't mean that you know if you have multiple target it will it will not mark everything you know I don't know why yeah I mean look at that okay so you just click that I mean that just kill that one and yeah it doesn't mark this scorpion here and that scorpion is marked and yeah it's quite cool and i think it is you know preparation for the next next update or the next thing that they will introduce in the game okay so the next one is about the inventory and bank and those things are you know some sort or related to each other but yeah we're gonna talk uh, about them in the same time as you can see here here's my bank in my inventory they remove the sort button and you can see sort button and you can transfer your money in the bank I don't know where you can place your money I mean in the discord they mentioned about the money pouch or is that the money pouch yeah but I don't know guys but my money is just in my inventory right now but you know don't don't be scared if you're going to higher PvP because it won't drop you know money won't drop there though in the higher PvP it says that money will drop but yeah don't, don't believe that guys I mean look at this let me go in higher PvP real quick uh, look at that guy <laughs> Okay, so as you can see here, you are about to enter higher PvP zone. If you die here, you will lose all your items on the right and all your gold. Yeah, it you won't lose your gold, guys. Maybe they, they just um, didn't notice that and change that. Or I don't know. But yeah, you won't lose your gold in higher PvP, so don't worry. But, um, carrying your gold around, your billions or millions. But yeah, you can see here, the sword button is removed and you can have this thing here now below. This is quite convenient guys because before you need to go through from 5, 10 to 100 before going into all. But now you can just go all in one, you know, just click that there. And it's useful. Also guys, the best part 
part that they did in the bank is you could freely move your items just like in your inventory which means um you know you can just rearrange your banks you know by color maybe by numbers but my bank is very messy but just excuse that guys but yeah you can see here you can just you know uh, move that thing around but you cannot directly um, transfer anything by just doing you know moving that they cannot cross that something line there but yeah just click that you could have it here you know you, know, you could just um yeah just transfer that but you cannot you know you can drag it uh, in the inventory or in the bank all right so the next one is about the quick action bar which is one of my favorite or the most favorite part of this update here I mean, look at this. You can quickly change your things and, yeah, and equip, equip, you know, just spam it here. Also, guys, um, they will, in the future, you know, remove or replace this um, quick action bar in the top. As you can see, that potions only. And then replace it here where you can add, um, you know, everything. You can add the, um, everything in, the, in your inventory. So, what it does, guys, that it is very useful because you can directly use item here. Um, rather than going in your inventory so to add you just need to hold and then click something um, let's see in this um, pickaxe here also this very yeah look at this look at this you can just you know in just split second you can just um, chase your weapon or something like that and also your potion yeah it is also it works like the the thing in the top so yeah you just need to click that also that's why maybe they will change that or remove that thing and replace that in the bottom of the, I mean, replace that with the bottom um, quick access bar. And you can have also um, this thing here, which you can uh, um, quickly change. Look at that. Look at my, um, I have saving grace right now. I click this. It will have this gold outline. It means that I am equipping it. So yeah, look at that. Or remove it. Yeah, you can just remove it in here in quick action bar the best part of this guys is that you can put your um buff in here which you can directly um use look at this uh which is very convenient also you didn't need to go in your inventory in doing or in activating this stuff here okay you just need to click that yeah look at that so it's very easy and it's very convenient now um you know just activating those things also guys you can have your shovel in here and you can just you know go around and click your shovel it's very convenient and that's why this is my best i mean this is my favorite thing that they recently added in the game it is like um you can do like almost anything here i mean in related in your inventory and some sort of that but i'm sure that there's a lot of function that you can do with this thing here um if you like discover it just freely comment in the comment section below but yeah it's very good right and the last thing that we are going to talk about is the show timer here which is also a convenient you know thing to have because you can see here the timer of everything and also if you die you will have this timer here where you can use the rebirth or is it two minutes already but yeah look at that you can have that flying around you can see the timer live there it, i think it is very convenient especially in boss fighting umbra or mummy and yeah you know you won't be randomly clicking every scroll in your inventory to just check how much time left or is it already activated but yeah it's very convenient right that is all in this video guys and i hope that you did learn something and if you did leave a like if you're new click the subscribe button hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any upload this is sticky thanks for watching see ya